If I say Washington Avenue, you might think, yeah, Wash Ave, restaurants, shops, loft living. An older generation, though, they might still think Garment District. So many of those places that people eat in and live in today, those were places that were once warehouses and busy factories with thousands of workers turning out all kinds of clothing. This film is from one of our old children's shows when we got a tour showing how coats were made at the Elder Company factory. Those are now residential lofts. That's a big part of St. Louis's history. But Gabrielle Hayes' story about the apparel industry, it's not about the then, it's about the now. On the edge of Grand Center lies a place so high tech, it would make your head spin. It's called Evolution STL. Evolution St. Louis is the, is the uh, most technologically advanced flatbed knitting facility in the world. John Lewis started Evolution with his friend John El Muccio. Do people ever get you guys confused because you have the same first name? Does that get confusing? Well, we refer to locally as the Johns. The so. <laughs> and together, they created a high-tech 3D knitting company. But in all actuality, what it does is much, much bigger. It is like 3D printing except 3D knitting. Mm. We design everything on the computer, send it out to these um, great knitting machines that were uh, developed and made by Stoll, which is a German supplier and um, they knit sweaters and shoe uppers and medical equipment, really anything we you know, program into the machine. If we, can, if we can program it, we can make it. He's talking about these machines. They are made in Germany and can print all sorts of things. So we plan in every stitch, every uh, shape, every detail um, in digitally, mm -hmm. you know, and, and basically then it sends you know, to the knitting machines and they, and they, and they knit it. Now, there are about 32 high-tech knitting machines right here at the location on Washington Avenue. However, they already have their sights set on the future with the new location at the riverfront. But not only will they have 240 new machines, but also 140 new jobs. The founders say job creation is just as important as what they're creating right here. John and I really wanted to build something that, that created real jobs, yeah. right? And, you know, we talked a little about that before. The facility officially opened in February of 2020. And for this duo, job creation was always an important piece of the work. It's important to recognize these are all net new jobs. They didn't exist before. Yeah. We're not pulling from someplace other industry or we're not building a better mousetrap. This is a brand new venture. There's no one else in the country that's doing what we're doing. So they're all net new jobs. But it's not just about creating jobs. It's also about creating jobs for a little bit of everyone. People are working in the warehouse and doing packing, and then people are running the, the machines, the, the machines, and then actually there's people programming the machines and doing the design. So there's all different, from you know creative skill sets to manufacturing to operations, there's all different types of jobs here, which is important, right? And you can hire from different diverse parts of the community to do that. And you don't need a four-year degree to do most of the jobs here either but yet you can still make a sustainable wage. You know, you can make enough to buy a house and raise a family. And, yeah. and uh, you know, we wanted a workforce too that reflected the community around us. So why bring this to St. Louis? Well, John and John say the reason they ended up here has a lot to do with how they started. I actually started my retail career here. Yeah you know, working for Famous Bar back in the day, right? St. Louis people are gonna be like, oh my God. Oh my God, right? I remember Famous Bar, right? <laughs> They'd come back years later and never leave. And you know, we come to St. Louis over the years because St. Louis was always kind of like a regional hub for fashion, sure. right? Especially in apparel. Couple the fact that now, um, you know, if you think about it, there's a long heritage that here as well too. Mm -hmm. So the city really understands it. Yeah. Uh, it was really the St. Louis Fashion Fund and Susan Sherman from there that convinced us to even look at St. Louis again. Mm -hmm. And when we looked at it and, and came here, we realized it was the perfect suit. And to do it with green manufacturing in mind. That's important about what we do. Obviously, there's a big sustainability factor here, what we do, because it's, it's not just about manufacturing in the U.S., it's about manufacturing with a really low carbon footprint. Talk to me about um, how, how you all sort of exude that principle of sustainability. That's a big part of why we chose the machinery that we did. Our machines operate with less than 3% waste. We, we took a building that we rescued, mm -hmm. um, we took it down to the walls, every light, every pipe, every wire, mm -hmm. 
Uh, all of the HVAC systems are all energy efficient. So now the work continues with new ideas constantly coming their way. And though the essence of what they do has to do with codes and tech, it all starts where the history of fashion begins. Sure, there's something organic still about it. It's still a fashion and it's still a design. You're still kind of creating something. And mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, product ideas come from our clients to us in paper form. They could mm -hmm. be sketches, they could be technical packages, you know, specifications, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And we take all that information and put it into digital form. Creating something on the edge of Grand Center in the city of St. Louis in the heart of the country. We wanted to not just build a kind of a cool little, you know, small batch manufacturing thing in, in, in the U.S. and talk about how cool we are and have coffee and think, isn't that great, made right. in the U.S.A. Yes, we want all that, but we also want something meaningful. We want scalable manufacturing. We would want to say that, that we can be the poster child, if you will, yeah. for either, you know, education uh, uh, world and environment or the city or investors or whatever, how it can work, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm because how you could take, make manufacturing work and how you could put it right in the heart of the city. Yeah. And we want to offer that as a beacon, yeah. right? But also as an example, you know? I mean, Missouri is the show me state. Yeah. You gotta show me, we're showing it, right? So, you know, build it, they will come. And that's exactly what we've done. And, and, you know, that's the message to the community. Come see what we're doing, understand what we're doing to other businesses and other people out there. You know, you can make it work in St. Louis and uh, we'll, be, we'll be there to help. For Living St. Louis, I'm Gabrielle Hayes.